And welcome to Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today. It's the 8th of August 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. To lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Of course, we had broad based gains on the US markets overnight with the SP 500 and the NASDAQ snapping a four day losing streak. Earnings continue to surprise to the upside. And this week's main focus of investor minds will be on that US and Chinese CPI. Out over the next couple of days, Chinese CPI tomorrow, US CPI on Thursday. US futures are near neutral in the Asian session. Just pull back a little bit from their open. Asian markets very mixed in early trading. ASX is managing to hold on to small gains of around about 0.15%. European futures are pointing to a cautious but slightly higher open at this stage. Uh, the VIX has pulled back a little bit from that little pop that we saw last week, but remains at historically low levels. The US dollar looked strong yesterday in the early part of the trading day, but gave up those gains to finish near neutral. And as a result, we saw pretty much the same across commodity assets. Those neutral copper held support at 385 and all paused near a resistance level after the run up last week. All's a little weaker in Asia today. Bitcoin also held support around about that 29,000 level, which we've been talking about for a couple of weeks. Earnings continue, of course. We've had around about 80% of the SP 500 reported so far. 79% are beating expected EPS, which is why uh, the market is still doing quite well. In terms of data today, it's relatively quiet. Uh, if you like the calm before the storm later in the week, uh, we've got Chinese trade balance numbers already out. They were a little shy in terms of what was expected. And German CPI is due this afternoon. Let's have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, Pilbara Minerals you know, on the ASX look interesting. We've been talking about this level at around about 5.18 for some time now. You can see it was tested twice during July and back in January. So we're at highs now not seen uh, since this price action in November. We think that the upside on this might be limited in the first instance, possibly to around about that 5.50 level. So most of this move may well be done at this stage. However, there is still around about 3% possibly to that. And the lithium story is quite good. So one worth keeping an eye on to see if we can continue to push higher uh, and breach this 550 over the next few days. On the FX front, we're seeing the GB pound Aussie on the daily chart looking very bullish. We're breached 194.44, which was the previous level that we got stuck at over the last four trading days. You can see that move through that today. We we'll just push this up a little bit. Uh, to that 194.63 to represent what's happened to the hourly price action. Uh, but you can see we've breached that. We've come back and tested it. So now we've got a really nice line in the sand at around about 195 to suggest that there could be further upside in this. Worthwhile keeping an eye on. If we look at the monthly chart, you can see we haven't been at this level really since uh, the back end of 2019. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.